spree. Killers on the crime spree. Okay. Blue Panama spring break. Palm trees. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, like I hold the seed. I split your waves with a stick like Moses did. Oh, 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 oh. Shalom, 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 brother, good dog, good boy, Yahweh, they you with some more precepts. First, I'm going to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Ha, Rach, Kodash. All praise to Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elder apostle, elder bishops of great millstone, still well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom, shalom. So, as you see in the clip, man. It's a car, it's a car, it's a car, man. Right? They, they, I don't think they understand what um, Sovereign Assembly means. I don't think they don't understand the, the seriousness of our high holy days. And, and, and especially us coming out of Egypt, man. Right? So I'm just going to bring out some precepts. Bear with me, This is Exodus 3 and 16. I'm going to start at verse 3. Oh, I'm going to start at verse 3. Thou shalt eat no leavened bread. I'm going to start at verse 2. Slank Yeah, verse 3. Thou shalt eat no leavened bread with it. Seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread with therewith, even the bread of affliction. So this un, this um unleavened bread is our is showing us our affliction, man, with the bitter herbs, man. If we supposed to be remembering our affliction and how the Lord brought us out of Egypt, how the Lord killed the firstborn children of um the Egyptians, man, and brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand, without a stretched forth arm, right? For thou even the bread of affliction, for thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt in haste, and we supposed to eat it with haste because. Hey, the Lord is going to bring us out of this second exodus um, the same way, man, with haste, quick and hurry, man. It's going to be a simultaneous um, miracle, man. As soon as the news about to hit, boom, we in the chariot, Lord willing, man. With new bodies, we ain't going to look the same. New bodies and all that, man. Immortality, man, right? That thou mayest remember the day that we what? May, mayest remember the day when thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt all the days of thy life. So we don't supposed to be partying, man. We supposed to be remembering how powerful the Lord was, man, and what he did and how terrible and, 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 and how much terror he put on the Egyptians, how much terror he done put on our people um, in captivity. We supposed to be remembering this, man, and giving praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, man, um, um, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, man, for his own. Um, on marvelous works, man. Right? On oh, this is verse four. And there shall be no leavened bread seen with thee in all thy coast seven days. Neither shall there anything of the flesh. You see that? Neither shall there anything of the flesh which thou sacrificed the first day at Eve. Remain all until uh, remain all night until the morning. So we don't supposed to be um uh, even we supposed to be just like we always supposed to be putting off that flesh, man. Let me get a precept. Putting off that flesh, man. Putting off that old leaven, man. Right? Like the old man. Right? All right, I'm going to give uh, Mark, 20, Mark 2 and 21. No man also saw the piece of... Let me start up a verse. I'm going to start there. Uh, let me go into it. All 
All right, I'm going to start at verse 20, Mark 2 and 20. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. No man also saw the piece of new cloth on an old garment. So don't man put don't put on nothing new on an old garment. Else the new piece that filled it up taketh away from the old, and the rent is made worse. Um, verse twenty two. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles. So no man put his old self into um a new bottles of wine. Don't put old wine in a new bottle. It's tainting it, man. Right. Else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled, and the bottles will be marred or marred. So that's just like it's talking about, hey, Lord, don't put um, knowledge and wisdom and understanding within us if we have old bottles, man. If we're like old in this thing, when we keep it on that old man, for better words, the Lord ain't going to be dealing with us, man. We got to put off that old man. We, we got to, if we going to get in that, that uh, spiritual wine that it's talking about. Uh, we got to put on new, man. We got to put on incorruption, man, and not be um, corruptible, right? Um, but new wine must be put into new bottles, so we got to have a uh, that morality sense and that intellect to be putting forth as a new creature within Mashiach Yahweh Shah and leaving that old creature alone and dead, man. You know, the Lord ain't about to put nothing new in you if you're holding on to that old man, for better words. All right. So, Connors wanted to get that. All right, let's go back. Um, let me go down. All right, um, I'm going to start at Deuteronomy 16 and 6. But at the place which the Lord, thy power, shall choose to place his name in, there thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at Eden, at the going down of the sun, and at the season that thou camest forth out of Egypt, and thou shalt roast and eat it in the place which the Lord, thy power, shall choose, and thou shalt turn in the morning and go unto thy tents. Six days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly. So seriousness, we supposed to be getting our minds girded up and our loins girded up for this serious um Shabbat day that's coming behind um this Passover. Um, be a solemn assembly to the Lord thy power. Thou shalt do no work therein. So it's gonna be a Shabbat. We should do no work therein. So all this stuff's supposed to be prepping us up to be um up to par. For the Shabbat that's coming, right? So let's go back. I'm gonna go down. Oh. All right, Con. And let me get see con con um let me get um Exodus 12 and 17. And ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread. For in the this self same day have I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall you observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. All right, let's go into that. And let's go up. Okay. Verse um where I bring y'all, alright con, um start at verse. 
um, 15. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Um, the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. And in the first day there shall be an holy convocation. And in the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation. So you can see how serious this is, man. Right? To you, no manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat, that only may be done of you. And ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread, for in this self same day have I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. Right? So the Lord is saying we're supposed to be observing this, right? We're supposed to be observing, not partying, not being super happy, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is getting ready to, he's looking at the minds of those that are ready to be delivered, right? He's He's looking at, see how serious you are about him, man, right? See how serious you are about getting a chariot, right? Oh, let me get Icon. Um, Second Peter two and one. But there were false prophets among, also among the people. Even as there shall be f false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, which we're seeing that even in this time of the Passover, um, even denying the Lord that bought them. So how did the Lord bought us? He brought us out of Egypt with a strong hand and bring upon them swift destruction. He brought us out of Egypt. That's enough here. Keep again, I gotta keep it short because this is blue lyric. Alright, um Alright, let's go into that. Let's get to on um, Exodus thirteen. All right, so let me get it. Exodus 13 and 6. Um, seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no leaven be seen with thee. Neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. And thou shalt show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. So we as men supposed to be being serious right now, not j laughing and giggling. Because this is supposed to be us showing ourselves to be that we want to be a hey, on them chariots, man. You know, this could be our last Passover, man. You know, we supposed to be showing how serious we are about this thing. And it shall be for a sign upon thee, unto thee upon thy hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand have the Lord brought thee out of Egypt, man. Let me go down. Right, this is a serious time, man. The Lord is getting ready to lead us, man, about this place, man. He's getting ready to deliver us, man. Uh, let me get 
Yeah, Deuteronomy 26 and 8. And that's the lock, yeah. Yeah, Deuteronomy 26 and 8. And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders. So it was a fearful thing to be brought out of, out of Egypt by the hand of the Lord. Man, the Lord was not playing. Right? So we're supposed to be declaring that, man. We're supposed to be acting like that we got brought out of, out of bondage. Right? And I'm going to get one more and I'm going to close it. I'm going to get Joshua 24 and 17. For the Lord our power, it is. He it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of the bondage and which did those great signs in our sight and preserved us and did what and preserved us. So this will be your pres your 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 um you calling the Lord unto the Lord in the name of his only begotten son to get your seat preserved, man. Lord willing, man. And all the way wherein we went and among all the people through whom we passed. Let's go into that. And the Lord, this verse 18, and the Lord drove out, drove out from before us all the people, even the Amorites, which dwelt in the land. Therefore, will we also serve the Lord, for he is our power. Right? And I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down. Um, If ye, this is Joshua 24 and 20. If ye forsake the Lord and serve strange powers, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you. After that, he have done you good. So to y'all, does not out here being serious, the Lord going to consume you. And after that, you'll be good. Because you have to come back through the, in the kingdom um, through the loins of a righteous Israelite, man. We supposed to be saying we're going to serve the Lord. Not like how our fathers did, but in truth and sincerity, man. During the time of Joshua and stuff, man, we supposed to be acting like we want a chariot. All right, so I'm going to get this and I'm going to close it. Uh, Jeremiah 2 and 6. Um, neither said they, where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, that led us through the wilderness, through a land of dirt, deserts and of pits, through the land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through, and where no man dwelt. And I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But when ye entered, ye defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. So, hey, we supposed to be not acting like how we was in the uh, Zaquan days, but being being wiser, being being um un more understanding, right, the, of the Lord's mercy and his grace, man, right? That's why this thing is serious, man. If you marked your house with the... Um, the blood, man, you supposed to be in your inside your house being serious. <laughs> right? That's why we wait upon the Lord. The priest, and this is what you Jakes do. The priest said not, Where is the Lord? And they that handled the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me. And the prophets prophesied about Baal and walked after things that do not profit. So this ain't no party in time. Y'all walking after things that do not profit, man. Right, wherefore I will le yet plead with you, said the Lord. So, y'all need to come out of that party and spirit, man. Plead to the Lord for your salvation, man. And with your children, children will I plead, man. So, look, man, can't make this up. Hey, if you Jakes don't get out of that party and spirit, you're gonna die here with that same party and spirit that's on you, man. So, with that, call him love, Allah, now, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Ha, Rach, Kodash. All praise to heaven, Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elder apostle, elder bishops of great millstone, stupid well. Peace and blessings to the whole full let. Shalom, shalom, wa ababa, shalom, Israel.